Hello friends in this part we have going to learn one more operation in CRUD system making by using Ajax jQuery method with object oriented PHP programming script. In this part we have made discussion how can we edit or update my SQL database table records by using PHP object oriented script with Ajax method. So we can change table data without refreshing page. In previous part we have seen insert or add new records in MySQL database table by using Ajax with PHP script. In any web application or system, changing or updating or editing data are required. This is because first if we have a wrong information in any system then after we want to change that information, then we want to require an update operation. So update of data is one of the part of CRUD system. In this system we have not only changed data but also we will change or upload new image by using Ajax with PHP script. Now let's start writing code. In previous we have already make one CRUD class and in that class we have already write function for database connection. But now we have go to our index.php page and on that page we have already created object of CRUD class. In previous video we have already make form, so in this form first we want to add some required fields in our HTML form. So first here we have write input type is equal to hidden with attribute name is equal to hidden user image, it is equal to hidden user image. In this fields we will store name of uploaded image of particular user inch query code. Below this fields we have defined one span tag with it is equal to uploaded image. Between this tag we will display uploaded user image of particular user. Then after above the submit button we have defined one more hidden tag for storing it of particular user. So we have write input type is equal to hidden with attribute name is equal to user ID and it is equal to user ID. In this field we will store it of user and query code. We have display user data on table with update and delete button link. In update button we have define update class and in that update button it we have store it of user. So when we have click on update button of any particular user. Then form must be visible on web page with that particular user data. So in query we have write dollar document with on method and under this method we have write click method with update button class update and one function. So when we have click on update button then this code will execute. Under this first we have write variable user id is equal to dollar this selector with attribute method and under this method we have write id attribute. This method will fetch value from id attribute and store into user id variable. Then after we have write variable action is equal to fetch single data, we will use this value in PHP code while fetch particular user data. Now we have defined Ajax method and under Ajax method we have first set URL option to action.php. We have send request to this page. Then after we have defined method option to post method. Here we have defined post method for sending form data to server. After this we have defined data option. Under this option we can define which data we want to send to server. Here we have defined user id and action data which we want to send to server. Then after we have defined data type option. In this option we can define in which data type we want to receive data from server. So here we have write JSON, so we will receive data in JSON type. Lastly in Ajax method we have defined success callback function. This function will be called if it send request successfully. This function will receive data from server which is stored under this function data argument. Now we have go to action.php page and on this we have already write some code in previous part. But now here we have write of statement with condition like $PostAction variable value is equal to fetch single data. 
This condition will check if value of this dollar post action variable value is equal to fetch single data then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar output variable with blank value, in this variable we will store which data we will fetch for particular user in array format. Then after we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from users where it is equal to dollar post user id variable. This query will fetch particular user data from server. Now we want to execute this query so we have write dollar result variable is equal dollar object with execute query method with one argument like dollar query variable. This execute query function we have already made in previous part. This will execute query and store result into this dollar result variable. After this we have write while loop and under this loop we have write dollar row variable is equal to miscly fetch array function with dollar result argument. This function will convert query result into associative array and store into this dollar row variable. Under this while loop first we have write dollar output first name variable is equal to dollar row first name variable. Then after we have write dollar output last name variable is equal to dollar row last name variable. After this we have again write dollar output user image variable is equal to dollar row image variable. This way we have store first name, last name and image data in dollar output variable in array format. Lastly we have write dollar output image variable. In this variable we will store image data and image tag in HTML format. So we have write image tag with source is equal to upload folder slash dollar row image variable. This way we have stored data and output variable in array format, but now we want to send this data success function in JSON format, so we have write echo statement with JSON encode function with one argument like dollar $output variable, this function will convert array data to JSON string send data to success callback function. Now we have go to success callback function of update button click event. Under this function first we want to display form on web page. So we have write dollar with collapse class with collapse method and under this method we have write show. This will display form on web page which we have store under collapse class. Then after inform first name text box we want to display particular user first name, so we have write dollar with first name which is an idle first name text box with value method and under this method we have write data dot first name. After this we have write dollar last name which is an id of last name text box with value method and under this method we have write data dot last name, this we will display last name under last name text box. Then after we want to display user image under span tag with id uploaded image, so we have write dollar with span tag id uploaded image with html method and under this method we have write data dot image in which we have store user image with image tag. This will display uploaded user image on web page. After this we want to store a user image name under hidden user image tag. So we have write dollar with hidden tag it hidden user image with value method and under this method we have write data dot user image. This will store user image name under this hidden fields. Now we want to change the button value from insert to edit, so we have write dollar with button id button action with value method and under this method we have write edit. This will change submit button value to edit from insert. Then after we want to assign value to one more hidden field with it is equal to action, so we have write dollar with hidden fielded action with value method, under this method we have write edit. Value of this hidden field he will use in PHP code for update. And lastly in success function we want to assign user id variable value to hidden field with id user id, 
So we have right dollar with hidden fielded user ID with value method and under this method we have right user id variable. This way we have assign user id variable value to hidden field with name user ID. Now friends you can see when we have click on update button then on any user update button then after form has been visible on web page with user data like first name, last name data with user image on web page. In form we can see button name has been changed to edit from insert. So when we have click on this button then data will be updated. So when we have click on edit button then form data will be submitted. So we have already write query on form submit event in previous part, in which we have make some validation and form data has been sent by using Ajax method and in success function it received data from server. After receiving data we want to first change the value of hidden field with id action, so we have write dollar with hidden field with id action with value method and under this method write insert. So when data will be inserted or updated then value of hidden field will be insert. Then after we want to change the button name from meta to insert, so we have write dollar with button tag id button action with value method and under this method we have write insert. So when data will be inserted or updated then value of button will be insert. And lastly we want remove user image data from span tag with id uploaded image after update of data. So we have write dollar with span tag id uploaded image with html method and under this method we have write blank, so it will remove uploaded image from span tag with id uploaded image. Now we have go to action.php page for update user data, so on this page we have write if statement with condition like dollar post action variable value is equal to edit, here this condition will check if value of this dollar post action variable is equal to edit then it will execute if block of code. Here value of action variable has been get from action hidden field. Under this block first we have write dollar image variable is equal to blank value. Under this variable we will store user image data. Then after we have write of statement with condition like dollar files with user image name value not equal to blank, this will check we have select any image from user image file tag or not while for update of data. Suppose we have select image from user image file tag then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write dollar image variable is equal to dollar object with upload file method with one argument like dollar files user image. This function we have already make in previous part and it will upload selected part and store uploaded image name under dollar image variable. But suppose we have not select image from user image. So it will execute else block of code and under this block we have write dollar image variable is equal to dollar post hidden user image variable. In this variable we have store uploaded image name. Then after we have write dollar first name variable is equal to miscly real escape string function with two argument. In first argument we have write database connection string dollar object connect and in second argument we have write dollar post first name variable. This function will remove special character from string and store clean text in dollar first name variable. Then after we have write one new variable dollar last name variable is equal to miscly real escape string function with two argument. In first argument we have write database connection string like dollar object connect variable and in second argument we have write dollar post last name variable. This function will remove special character from dollar post last name variable string and store clean text in dollar last name variable. Now we have write dollar query variable is equal to update users set first name is equal to dollar first name variable, last name is equal to dollar last name variable, image is equal to dollar image variable where it is equal to dollar post user id variable. This is our update data query. Now we want to execute this query, so we have write dollar object with execute query function with dollar query variable, this will execute update query and it will update data. 
and lastly and we have right echo statement with data updated message. This message will be visible on web page after updating of data. So our code is ready. So we have saved this code on check output in browser. Friends when we have load the page then we can show the user data in table format with update and delete data button link. So when we have click on update button of first data, then form has been visible on web page with that user data under form field with that user image and button name has been changed from insert to edit. Now we can edit data and click on edit button then we have received data updated message has been pop up on web page. So data has been updated without page refreshing. In this part first we have fetch single data by using Ajax with PHP object oriented script in JSON format and then after we have load that data in different form field. So after data has come into form field so we can change value of form field and by clicking on submit button we can send form data to server with file and by using form data object we have send form data to server by using Ajax method. So this way we can edit or update with upload image by using Ajax method with object oriented programming. In next part we will learn how to delete data by using Ajax with PHP object oriented script without page refresh. So if you like this video tutorial, please share this video with your friends or even you can also share this video on social media also. Friends if you want to get more update of my video tutorial, so you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page or you can also follow Webslisten on Twitter.